fine. But I saw online or a lot of people rip on the C-Clone and had been doing various mods. So I looked to see if I could make it improve, improve its function. And some of the mods have been to go ahead and cut down that inner tube inside of there but that seems like it'd be rather difficult and possibly you'd break that tube so I didn't want to do that and then the other mod that I saw that was popular was to cut down the inner tube inside the collection cup and you know that seems doable but again I didn't really want to cut on on something that's still under warranty so I did read where somebody made a comment about putting a pop bottle inside. And so I used a water bottle and see if I can get that to focus. So I used the neck of the small water bottle which is inside the bottom of the, uh, the tube that for the collection chamber. And it actually forces more bubbles up. The other complaint that people were saying is that the problem with the uh, C-clone is that there isn't enough contact time and then also the issue of how difficult it is to um, tune it. Well, I've found this the way I like to tune mine to just get the bubbles to come just above, start breaking just above that, uh, that column. But I've also discovered that when I stuck in that little neck of that water bottle as I was playing, is that if you can see, it's actually the bubbles are actually falling back down, and then getting recirculated. So the contact time is increased. So when you first do this, it doesn't start reacting right away. Um, it probably took maybe two hours. <clears throat> I walked away from it and then let it rip. And so this is somewhere about so 12 hours later maybe 14 hours later but you can see all the uh, the debris that I have uh, collecting up inside there and like I said previously I thought that my C clone ran fine but I will definitely say that putting that little neck in there has made it produce a lot more skin mate in a shorter period of time So how this is working is, if I can get down here and get focused on that, you can see the uh, <clears throat> water bottle is down in the bottom of the column there, and it narrows that hole down, and it forces uh, the bubbles into a smaller area, and that's helping to push those bubbles up into the collection cup, because that was another complaint that people made was that the C-Clone's uh, pump is 1200 was not strong enough to push the, the bubbles up all the way up so any anybody knows that if you take something wide and narrow it down you increase the velocity and so that's what I've done and you can see it's just bubbling up right through the center of that thing so that's what was the point of doing the mod with the uh, collection tube off and you can see it's just that how much is popping up through that water bottle. And this is where, oops, sorry. this is where I'm saying it gets recirculated. See how it pops out and it collects because the top of the water bottle actually fits into that inner tube. It's almost like wet skin. So if we look at the opening that's available, if you just take a simple water bottle, you can see it won't fit down inside there. And I also decided to use the, the crinkly plastic type so that the, to maintain its shape or it will bounce back into its shape. Because the goal here is you're going to put that through the ring, but the, there's the, uh, the outer tube and then there's the, the two and a half inch diameter tube that comes all the way up to the top which this black ring is attached to and by the way I don't know how that gentleman got that the uh, inner tube out down there because I certainly couldn't fit my hand through there and this top ring uh, theoretically comes off I call Marineland uh, their tech support because I wanted to be able to see if I could take that off 
to be able to clean between the two and they said if you take that off it's very difficult to get back on properly so anyway now so if I pull this guy out you'll see that all I did was just use that much and the idea here is to get the diameter of that just to fit the diameter of the inside of that other tube so so now it's so you'll see if I pull up the the black uh, ring is coming with it because it matches so it should match the diameter there so it's it's in there and I went ahead and cleaned this guy out so then so that you can see better so then I'll just push that in now there's a happy spot in which the, uh, the bottom of this uh, of the collection tube will actually fit against excuse me will fit against the water bottle itself and makes it somewhat of a seal there. So now if we look back down the tube again that is from the collection cup you'll see it so what then I discovered uh, is to basically use something to, to upright that so it's dead center so it's now dead center and you can see the bubble starting and I could tell you in about an hour this thing will be back to flowing crazy like it was uh, almost like wet skimming so that's how I did the mod.